Okay, we're now going to look at creating the three buttons that we need for this website. So the, it's looking all right so far, and we're using the colors that they've asked for. Uh, they've told us that we're going to have to use other colors as well. So we're just going to stick to these colors for now um, and bring in the consistency, just bring it in, make it look nice and uh, clean. Um, and then what I'm going to do also is, just in case you forget, you know, whatever font you use here, you know, I've decided to go for Rockwell here, just try to keep it consistent, if it's suitable that is. If you can read it well, which you can here, I believe you can anyway, then there's no reason why you can't use the same font uh, style for your buttons. So, I'm going to put this down, I'm going to open Fireworks this time, because that's what we use to create the buttons. Um, it's not because that's the only way you can do it, but it's just a w the way that I like uh, to uh, do it myself. You can do it on Photoshop as well if you want to. Um, but we'll open this up. Very simply, there we go. Create a new PNG. And, oh yes, the, t the numbers, that'll be, that'll be useful. Uh, what I tend to do is because we've got space for, let me just take that off as well, go back to the dream file, there we go, we've got space for three buttons, now you can see this is not uh, the right size, you can tell this is a bit smaller, this is a slightly larger and so on and so forth, it's not consistent, it's not equally uh, spaced out, and I'm not really bothered about that, I'm not stressed about that right now, all we need to do is, we need to divide the width of the page, which is 1366 by 3. So you get the calculator out. I've got my, I've got like a shortcut uh, on my laptop, but for you guys, it'll be in your old programs, down to your accessories, and go to calculator. You're allowed to use whatever software you have on your computer on the day of the exam. So once it's up, 1366 divided by 3 equals, so I've got 455.33. So I'm going to be specific here. I'm going to put 455.33 back here. 455.33 and the height I'm going to stick to let's have a look is 50 going to be enough let's have a quick check I'm going to zoom in a little bit get to the standard yeah I reckon 50 is going to be fine yeah usually 50 is fine so I'm going to go to here and leave 50 and leave the rest as it is keep it white press ok Okay, there we go. That gives you the outline, the shape of your button itself. Now, you could create a box, yeah? If you create a box, you can get a 3D shape or image or design for the button itself. So you get a box like that, and then you can fill in the color, and you choose what colors you want. So I'm going to continue the style or the the theme of uh, the, the banner itself. So we know we have the colors um, 333333, which is that gray there. Press oh, Enter. Done. And then I'm going to get the text, draw it out. I'm not going to worry about the size. Uh, so you know this this very moment. I'm going to look for the font that I used early on, which is Rockwell. You you look for the one you chose. Um, it should be further down. Let me type R. There we go, Rockwell. And we know that the first page is home page. Now I'm going to basically follow the same theme as what they've asked for the text itself. Normally I would put capital H and capital P, but because they've got this this style, this theme of no capital, you know, all lowercase for the, t the name of the company, I'm gonna continue that theme for the buttons as well. So, I'm gonna go back here, home page, yep, that's fine. And let's type in home page. And let's actually be a little bit clever about this as well. Push this into the center, there we go. And let's get the text thing again. There we go. And let's make this, no, let's make that one not bold. There we go. Let's make this one the color that we have. CC, oh, I need to type it in, don't I? There we go. CC, CC, 66, and enter. There we go. Black arrow, click away, and there we go. So we've got the same kind of color scheme, but I want to make this uh, look like a button. So you can see there are th these blue little squares in the corners to indicate when you've selected it. Down here where it says filters, click on the plus sign. And you can choose to put a um, bevel or emboss. And you can play around with this. If you look in, in it bevel, you can see it basically creates this shadow effect around the edges of the uh, the button or the box itself. If you don't like it, I mean, you could change the... The amount, I believe, somewhere here. No, that's not it. There are other things you can do. Now, if you don't like it, 
click it once, click minus, it goes away, and then just choose another thing. You know, there's so many different types and of filters you can choose from. Um, you just decide what looks good to you. Some of these things will work better than others, depending on the background, the color, and so on and so forth. Um, so, I mean, that looks okay. It's not amazing. Um, saying that, there's nothing stopping you from doing the same thing to the actual text itself. So if I click on the text instead, and then do this, it might have a better, no, that doesn't work, does it? No, I don't believe so, so I'm gonna try something else. And like I said, you just experiment with it, just see what looks good, what works, what doesn't work. And when you're happy, you just take it off. Now I'm gonna keep the text simple. Um, I might, if I can find something that works, no, I'm not gonna do that. The only problem with this is it's it's um, the text doesn't fit in, and that's why I don't like it. I wonder if it's yeah, that's the one. So just gonna make it smaller. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna just get this until I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna make this a six. Enter. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so that's how you change the shape itself. Once you're happy file, um, save as, and in the same place as your banner, so this is my last website, again this is a different software, so it remembers the last place to save my work, you have to find your folder, so I'm going to put it in here, there, assets, and you know what, I'm going to create a, but a folder, so I know where my buttons are, these are separate buttons, there we go, and we're going to call this home page uh, button one and we press OK um, although I've noticed something I've just made a mistake haven't I because it tells us that we need to have everything in JPEG and I made that as a PNG so I'm gonna go back in here save as and make sure it says JPEG okay home page button one save if we go into the folder go back go into my buttons You'll see I've gotten both there, they look identical. But if I go into the contents, you'll see one says JPEG, one says PNG. We don't want that, so I'm going to delete that now. So please, always be mindful that you follow the brief. So what I'm going to do is now, now is that I'm happy with this. I like this style. So all I need to do is make the other two buttons. So the second one is web design page. So go back over here. All we need to do is go inside and just type in web design page. There we go. Keep the same consistency, same style. File, save as again. JPEG is still remembered. All we got to do is go inside and just type in the name. So web design page button one. Press save. Done. And the last one is design trends. So we're going to go back into here. Go inside. I'm going to delete that, keep the design, trends, there we go, click away, file, save as, and this is going to be going into here, and we're going to keep design in there, and just type in design, trends, page, button one, save. If we go back into my folder, you'll see I have all three, if I make this larger, you'll see how they look, there we go, perfect, all inside uh, the the button itself, all centered, all have the same style. All I have to do now is make the second versions, and what I, all I'm going to do for that is simply change the background color and change the font of this, similar to the banner itself. So I'm going to click on this uh, background, click on the box, the background here. You can see it says hashtag three 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 three. Click on that and just go inside and delete this and type in what your numbers were. So CC, CC66, press enter, done. And then I'm gonna click on the text on there. And this needs to have double three, double three, double three. And press enter, there we go. Black arrow, click away, done. And this one just needs to be saved as uh, early on. The name is the same, but the difference this time is gonna say two in there instead. Press save. Go back to the folder. You'll see I've got two versions of design trends now. Okay, but I now need to do homepage button 
and web design button. So I'm gonna do the homepage purely because it's the simple shortest one. Go back in here, go inside, home space page. And we're gonna file save as. I'm gonna click on home page. There it is, purely because it copies the name, but I must remember to delete the one and put a two in there instead. Save done. Go inside, and I believe the last one is design. No, nope, web design. There we go. So web design page. Click away. File save as. Click on web design. Yes, that's the one. There we go. And delete the one. Change it to a two. Press OK. And that's all that done. So all we've got to do now is insert them into our page. Now you have to remember the order. Um, it tells you here home page, web design, design. So home, web, design. Go back over here, home in here first, insert, image objects, roll over image, and I'm gonna get the buttons in first, just to save a little bit of time here. Uh, buttons. Um, home. There we go, say no to that, press that, click on the second one now. There it is, press OK, say no. This is gonna be home page, button and alternative text just say home page button as well press ok and remembers the the the, the width itself all we got to do is drag this in and get it right as close to the to this button as we can and then we enter the next one so insert image roll over image and do the same thing I believe it's web from what I remember. Yes, it is. So I'll go down, web designs, press OK, say no. And again, OK, say no. Web design page button. I'm going to type it in there. There we go. Press OK. I'm done. Drag this in. Last one. Same as before. Roll over image, design trends, say no to that, design trends, say no to that, design trends button, design trend trends page button, and I'll just copy that and just paste it in, done. And there we go. Now you'll notice there is a bit of a gap increase here. And that's purely because we have these lines in between. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out a little bit. We know by doing this, this will be too long. That that page is now too wide. I'm going to select inside all three of these. Can you see they're all selected? So I've gone into that gap, clicked the mouse, held it, dragged it across. And then right click inside this table and merge it. That will bring it all together. And now I can bring it back in. And you'll see it's perfectly aligned. I'm going to save this now. So either control and S or file and save. You can see it says template there, which is fine. And just to test it, just to see how it looks, I'm going to drag this in as well, actually, just align this with this one here. We don't have to, but I will see a D. Just want to make sure it looks nice and symmetrical. Otherwise, it's just going to bug the hell out of me. There we go. Okay, so save. And let's just see what it looks like. So if you open it on Chrome, you'll get an idea of what it looks like so far. So this is just a template. We haven't done anything to it yet. And I'm gonna maximize the page. You can see it's in one page. This changes, and so do these. All consistent, they look like buttons, they work perfectly fine, okay? All consistent, they don't jump around, good height as well. And like I said, the color scheme all match as well very nicely, okay? And that's how you create and insert your uh, navigation bar buttons. Bismillah.